I curated this mod list for the PS4 after years to try to give you the most variety and fun to experience. I started this project back in 2018 with the intention that you would be able to do what you wanted to do. If you wanted to be a Nord, you could have horns. If, if you wanted to have, you know, pink skin, and variety is the highlight of that. Unlike a gaming PC, the PS4 can't have external assets. If there's a mod on this list, I think it's solid, the code is good, and it's fairly balanced. I had a focus on role-playing and being who you wanted to be, so I wanted to be a bandit Argonian. You know, if I want to wield one sword, throwing knives, two followers... Granted, you will have to use your imagination a little to keep it fair. But there's no toy mods. One thing I like is summoning horses with all my characters, so I usually do that, but you can choose if you want to be able to do that or not. Now, I made this back in 2018 on the PS4, so I don't know what's on the PS5. And just a little refresher for how modding works in Skyrim. It'll take the one below, so that's what you'll keep. So, the load order will be important. To be able to fit this all in, I'm gonna have to ask that you screenshot it to find what you're looking for. I'll go over the categories, but only go over the big mods or really effective ones, or niche ones. So the first mods are more of the system mods, the foundation for everything that's going on. The big mod here is Magic Reloaded. This has a ton of spells, it has a player area, then we have a few more foundation mods. The Realm of Lorecon is so that you can skip the whole starting thing and make your character. It gives you so many options right at the start. And that's where the imagination comes in because you're going to basically be choosing what you get and don't get at the start. Then we have ANA's Interior Editor. This is nuts. This is Minecraft in Skyrim. You do have the resources, but you can build like anything. It is so cool. Then we have the house mods, and the one notable mention here is Crypt of the Old Guard, which lets you have some vampire resources if you do choose to go that route. A few player homes and we're getting into utility. Both Dreamweavers are insane, they have so much content. We have the skill mods. Using load order, I have written over certain ones while keeping others active, so again, load order is important. Some of these mods add tons of playstyle and aesthetics to the game. Here's one for the mages. This way you can have, you know, a lot of different variety with the spells you cast. Then we're getting into the variety mods, but first I want to mention warrior poet powers. There are some that have been very strong, but the balance has been pretty good. If you don't want to use it, I would just only use the ones from that that you like. I don't want to do this, but I have to do a part two. I'm sorry. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed today's video, consider liking and following for more gaming stuff.